welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Grand Arena, our last meme tier Monday donation deck today. This one is going to be a deck where we are going to be playing um, the Nox Crya Arena and the Grand Plaza together. Two copies of each of these landmarks with three survival skills. The person that uh, built this deck really wanted to play survival skills with Nox Crya Arena and then also with some Grand Plazas in here. Um, but that, I just thought that was a cool name, the Grand Arena. So survival skills, is this is going to be a deck where we're going to be hard casting survival skills a lot to make it so your allies can't drop below one health this round and then having your Nox Cry Arena being able to uh, strike, have your strongest ally and your weakest enemy strike each other, but yours can't drop below one health. That's kind of a combo in here, among many combos. So with the Nox Cry Arena having your um, ally and enemy strike each other and then also with a card like concerted strike and single combat we're gonna have swain and swain's gonna be leveling up um with that those striking do do count as non-combat damage towards leveling up a swain so all we have to do is 12 total non-combat damage to level up swain and so that could just be like two arena strikes or like even like one concerted strike with a couple of big things can get there and so on so we're gonna have we're gonna have that for leveling up swain we're going to be able to pair our survival skills with our Draven. So um, basically the arena and the skills kind of work with uh, both of our two champions. So like the Draven will make the spinning axes that can discard survival skills also for your strongest ally, not be able to drop below one health. And that's important, of course, because it's your strongest ally that is the one that's fighting with the Nox Crya arena. So we got that going on. We have a judgment that can also like single handedly level up a Swain and stop like a, a big attack from the opponent. And then, you know, we have the Leviathan Swain combo. We got one Bright Steel Formation at the top end because a Bright Steel Formation with Nox Cry Arena seems kind of, it seems pretty ridiculous. Like a 9 9 with Barrier. Like that seems awesome with your Nox Cry Arena. So we got that combo in here. And then early game, we're just kind of going to try to stay alive. We got Bright Steel Protector that can protect your strongest ally that's going to be fighting with your arena. Um, Egghead Researcher makes some more dragons for us and just be a, a good blocker early. Grizzled Ranger is amazing with Grand Plaza and some other uh, spells to help support. So that's our deck, the Grand Arena. We're going to go play our five games in normal because it's meme tier Monday, and we'll see uh, how this does. All right, Fiora Shen. Fiora Shen is an awesome tier one deck, one of the best decks in the format, so this is certainly going to be a difficult task for us. So I want to mulligan Leviathan Swain, and look for other stuff, but maybe I should just keep Leviathan that can just draw the Swain later. No, it's an 8-mana card. I won't keep it. Um, I love Screeching Dragon. Being able to challenge and fight. We got a couple single combats, which can be good, too. There's the arena. But, like, the thing is, like, they're going to be playing all their barrier stuff, which is going to make it more difficult on our arenas and single combats and the like. I don't really want to play this Egghead Researcher. Like, if they play Fiora, I don't really want to give them Egghead Researcher as a, just a free Fiora kill. River shape the land and give it life. Alright, River Shaper, we can block and stuff. Hmm. That's kind of too bad, though, like, with our... our you know, like, our, our hand that we kept, we kept two mana card, two mana card, five mana card, I think. Maybe we just kept five mana, two mana. But anyway, since our opening hand, our draws have been Arena, Arena, Screeching Dragon, Survival Skills. <laughs> four or five mana cards for our four turns. Okay, well, I guess I just pass. My hand is pretty bad. Kinda can't do anything. So, we'll just pass. From the river folk. So, I like how the, I can have my researcher with a single combat be able to get rid of a barrier. That's something that's kind of cool. Cool. 
I want them to spend, you know, to waste mana. I just had like a terrible turn wasting mana, so now let's go to them, have a not so good turn wasting mana. You're covered. Nature blesses her followers. Before they bite, I have the scars to prove it. The balance requires a watchful eye. I sense an imbalance. Nature blesses her followers. What is this? All right, gonna try this out. So I think I go different ways here. I just let this happen. I mean, I have a free. I think I just use this free single combat on the three two. I think that's probably my best course of action right from right here. Who's my dragon blocking? Blocking both? Block both? No, I'm just one. Be able to combine spinning axe with survival skills because survival skills could be awesome it really could be awesome with like block something to keep my dragon alive and then also arena like afterwards that fight something the eye of twilight sees all Enforced. no i don't think i pull river shaper there into a like because i don't want to just mess with a repost basically I think Repost was pretty likely, and I didn't want to mess with it. Hey, buddy, what you doing? This would be me trading Draven for Sh Shen. I think that's an okay trade. is still in the mortal world. Alright, nope if I gone. Alright, so they're out of me now. My beautiful face. What form will the waters take? All right, time to have the arena start killing stuff. Arena with survival skills. Time that time to have that start killing stuff. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. Time to get rowdy. All right, let's mess some folks up. Yeah, I what I really really want is to be able to use survival skills next turn. Darn, that's not gonna happen. I really wanted the double arena survival skills for the next turn. So that's not gonna happen. Survival skills looks pretty sweet there. We just what got rid of a concerted strike and two of their things. I guess I should have been play I should probably should have been paying attention to how many cards they were drawing with the River Shaper. I knew they drew a bunch with the River Shaper before, but I don't know I don't know exactly how much a bunch qualifies for. Engulf them. 
but I know they drew quite a bit of spells. They may run out of spells. Is that possible? Could they run out of spells? Nature blesses her followers. All right, so different options for me. I could just go single combat the 17-2 here, but then if I do that, then they still have a 5-2 barrier that then kills my Screeching Dragon. Um, instead, I could go... So, like, that's one option. I could go single combat my Grizzled Ranger on the River Shaper. They still... Basically, either way, they're drawing two cards. I guess, no, they only draw one card if I go this, this route. So basically here, okay, I, I think this is my best route, like, we don't have great options, but basically with this route, I am left, I'm going to be left with the two Badger Bears, and they're not going to have a unit, but they're going to draw two. What form will the waters take? The waters are still... They're still drawing spells, they have not ran, ran out of spells yet, but now these will fight. Really, the reason why, like, if my opponent wins this game, the reason why is because of River Shaper. Right, it's just been, um, like, how many, like, they're at 18, I'm at 25. I think River Shaper's probably drawn, what, like, six cards or so by now? I think, like, six cards. Wow. They just played that and didn't play anything else and just let that happen? Cool. I can't say I expected that. Mm. This is kind of a problem, right? Like, I want Leviathan just to stay in play and, and go Leviathan, Swain, and just done. But Leviathan's just going to fight. Well, I know they're not going to pass. They're going to they're gonna attack. I have to block. But still, I can't I can't play Leviathan because my Leviathan dies at end of turn because of my arena. Or, yeah, round end. So I can't play this card. That's a problem that I can't, like, I need, so I need survival skills, right? Like, I, that's, that's, like, the card I, I need. I need survival skills. Okay, well, they're, I guess they didn't stack, but they should have. I can make you a 6-9. Oh, I can't, I can't play Quasi and Leviathan the same turn anyway. I can open attack, yes. If they have single combat, I lose the game if I open attack. Like, I, I literally just lose the game if they have if they have single combat if I open attack. Yeah, like, if they have single combat or concerted strike, which we know they have a whole bunch of spells, if they have either one, I just lose the game if I open attack. Protector save me. Got an axe with your name on it. Counter attack. Survival skills, where are you? Yeah, I mean, River, River Shaper won this game for my opponent, drawing those six or so spells. I mean, they, yes, they, they have a... Their whole hand is filled with combat tricks. They they have like these are all spells that River Shaper drew. Like they they have a lot of combat tricks. 
So, so kind of no nothing that I play is going to work. I'm going to try, but it's not going to work. <laughs> I'm already sad. Yeah, they just did the order. They did the order incorrectly, so they only dealt six to my uh, to my Swain. So now, end of turn, Swain will fight Cythria. Witness strength, patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have it. You know, now then this will fight. Yeah. All right, so I guess I shouldn't have played the arena. The arena. Two, two things that really cost us was, this you know, the, the River Shaper drawing all those spells and, like, the arena actually hurting us. That's what Meme Tier is about. It's not always going to work out. Like, their, their deck's a Tier 1 deck for a reason. Ours, not so much. Uh, let's see. So, Fizz, Zoe. But we got to do some cool stuff there. I really, like, survival skills looked great. Like, survival skills plus arena looked great, and, like, that got us back into the game. But then... Unfortunately, the arena was after that was just all downside, but we got to do some cool stuff with survival mm -hmm. skills for a, a second. I do have the attack token on turn five, but two one mana champions. I wanted to find some cheaper stuff. Yeah, we're at seven, so we're... Yeah, like, arena... Like, our 4-3 dies because of the arena. Both of their things were seven power attacking because they were both... You know, they were both six, but then got buffed up by... Like, one buffed the other. So, like, they were both seven, seven fearsomes attacking. We're at seven. Like, all three of their things were lethal. I couldn't do anything to stay alive. If I if I do absolutely nothing, our Swain just fights one of the, the six sixes, um, which I guess I could do that and then block the nine seven and take six. But again, their their whole hand were combat tricks that were like, we were dead. This. Yeah, but we know with River Shaper they still have more spells in hand. They drew a ton of spells with River Shaper. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. So I could, I could have Whirling Death this turn, but I'd rather just have Grand Plaza in play. Hey, buddy, what you doing? the money makers I would love to level up Draven I just don't think any of these we can really discard in order to do so but I would love to do so
Good to know. Glad you're Fizz. Temperamental as moonlight. So they'll be able to make the vulnerable 5-2. Shark, I was kind of expecting Bastion. Uh, that's what I was kind of thinking. Shark. Ooh. I'm not doing anything with that. But arena could be cool. Got your back. Hey, Zap. Need a hand? Can't say no to Fizz. Course. That's a lot of blocking. Yeah, it's a lot of blocking. More blocking than I imagined they'd be doing. I think that 2 1 could challenge the Draven with the Draven being vulnerable. Oh, because the Draven's about to die. So, I don't know if leveling it is that necessary. I mean, I guess I have the other Draven in hand. Now we're cooking. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just haven't really expected like any of this stuff to work. But I guess it, it would have worked. Yeah, it's like, that's, that's, that's the why I haven't been... <laughs> going with the Draven, because the Hush. Right? Like, I haven't expected this to work because of Hush, like, this whole time. But I guess it would have worked before, but you know, maybe they were saving Hush, you know, for that, like, if I would have ever tried. My beautiful face. Loyalty to conquest. This is a bad play by me. I guess I should be playing... I guess I should be playing that on my turn for the plaza. Probably. I'm something of an aspiring for No, no, maybe not. I got this. Why would I single combat? So while single combat could level up Swain, I think, um, just kind of being a little bit more patient is worth it. Yeah, that's that's basically it. I'm just being cautious and, and um Like you're you're fine, Talion. Yeah, just basically being cautious and not really spending cards unless I feel like I need to. Cause it's just it's not like I just don't really have to like try to win immediately this turn, right? Like I there we're at fourteen. We have all this stuff. Like we're doing okay. Like, I, I mean, I guess they could possibly do 14, but that doesn't seem very likely. I'm ready. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Long 
So yeah, well, maybe some lines would have helped out more. I mean, there's just there's just really no incentive for me to do a lot of lines. Like, like there's no like real reason that like I I had to do this or that. All right, but now again, I don't really have to. But I think it's pretty safe now, and just might as well. One mana, one card. I'll go ahead and play this Immortal Fire. I guess that doesn't keep Concerted Strike up. I'll play this thing instead. That keeps Concerted Strike up. Okay, one and one. My conflict, and only one way. All right, another Zoe deck this time with Brom. Zoe Brom. Leviathan could be good. Like all all these cards are good, but you know, if my opponent plays a Zoe on turn one, we may not be doing anything for a while. So let's keep the sharp sight and. I'll keep Screeching Dragon with us having the attack token on turn one, so that you know, that we have it on turn five. I've been I've been very impressed with the survival skills so far. So far, we, we've had the Draven to go along with the survival skills. Um, it's looked very good with Draven. All right, so assuming I'm going to play Grand Plaza on three, if I if I do not play this researcher right now. Like if I would just play Grand, if I would not have played that researcher and just play the Grand Plaza on three, turn four they can open attack. I can't block, and that's just how life is. And so by playing this, I can use Sharp Sight to block a Zoe, so they don't get to just hit me with Zoe. Come back later. Yeah, I, I think I do this. Not the egg. <laughs> and that was fine. That keeps their Zoe alive, grabbing the sharp sight. Does get the double pump with the Starlet Seer. But... This would be a good um, hopefully two attacks with Grizzled Ranger. Can take down Zoe. Good double egghead researcher. <laughs> Harvey's laying back there. She loves laying on her back like that. The... She loves laying like that. She's like, you know, just grabbing the wall with her hands and just stretching out. Living the good life. Um, obviously drawing another Egghead Researcher makes it look like I should have played the Egghead Researcher the turn before, but I preferred with the, um, with the likelihood of us finding, like, a spell. Like, I, I preferred saving this, the mana for a spell, um, instead of just having a little 1-3 in play, because the Egghead Researcher can do a whole lot more with the Grand Plaza later, or if we'd have the spell mana, then it would, it would allow us to... Um, play other things easier. Well, I'd like to stay alive. Which is why I didn't block Mentor the Stones. I value being alive and continuing to play the game instead of losing. So I did say how survival skills was very good, but that was whenever we had Draven. Ask me about Dragon, I just may have an answer. This would be a good I've never seen a specimen without 
wings before. Blessed by snow and stars. Follow the tracks. Yeah, like they, they had enough to stop a whole lot of stuff. So like I, I had, you know, my uh, two drop with the two mana sharp sight, a, you know, three five to block Zoe. They were able to ward that off and then, you know, I had like the Grizzled Ranger challenger. They could ward that off. And then, you know, my next challenger there, they could ward that off. And um, yeah, very good hand. The main thing that we could have done differently is I think on the turn four whenever I attacked I think I could have played yeah like I had the other two four there and I think I think I could have double spelled on turn four with the grizzled ranger with two two fours I think maybe we actually drew that other two four the next turn though the equinox was perfect Eric Lux. The they just not have anything? Right. What is going on over there? Eight cards and nothing to play? What is going on over there? Enviola's Vox. The few for the men. The sun is shining. We should too. Got access, need victims. Um. Yeah, but I can't. Like, if I want to try to Whirling Death and try to kill the Lux, I don't get to Sharp Sight also. Like, I... I know I can, like, Spinning Axe, make this 5, and then Whirling Death, but then they could Sharp Sight, and then it's a... It's messy. So I have five mana, so enough for Sharp Sight plus Whirling Death or Concerted Strike. Because remember, they're they're a Taric Lux deck, so like they're they're playing a ton of combat tricks with being a Taric deck, right? So like you can certainly assume they have all sorts of combat tricks in their uh, in their deck. So like if I go if I go Envious Vox and challenge Lux and they repost, what's my plan? Maybe Concerted Strike, because then they'd still they, then they could have Bastion. What are you waiting for? It's just all messy. I could challenge the Mentor of the Stones, but even then, I don't know if I really want to like let them. I just don't really want to give them outlets of like casting cards, kind of. I think I, like, basically, I kind of feel like just waiting for Bright Steel Formation. Yeah, Unyielding Spirit, it could, it could definitely be an Unyielding Spirit, I could see that. Yeah, I could definitely see Unyielding Spirit. There are ten cards. Maybe I just shouldn't block. And just take 10.
All right, that keeps me from having 10 cards now. That should level up Swain. And there we go. Yeah, they just wanted to they just wanted to unload on Yielding Spirit, I guess. That was like their whole plan. We have done what and us keeping Concerted Strike up the whole time and just being very patient paid off. <laughs> yeah, right, QQ? That was a crazy game. That was not necessarily a game to expect. I'm keeping Egghead Researcher for sure, and I'm keeping Sharp Sight. And I think it keeps single combat also. Like, just Sharp Sight and single combat are just amazing two mana spells. Um, we don't have much power here, but the uh, Poros. But the Egghead Researchers can uh, give us that power. What's up, German Potato? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I can barely keep up. Yeah, we got bonus stream today. We had sub goals yesterday and we hit sub goals today. So we'll have bonus stream after this. Harvey. Harvey's like, I don't want bonus stream. I want to go outside and get food. Would you If I stop fighting her, she starts clawing up the chair. Call came for bonus stream. I, was, I want to do the expedition. We're in the middle of an expedition right now, and I, I want to spend more expedition mana for the prismatic thing. Come back later. What is this? Okay. I'll pet you over here. That way, it's absolutely stellar. Why doesn't all of our things have a uh, challenger? That's all. That was always nice whenever we had that plaza in play, and like all of our things have challenger. It made life easier. <laughs> hey, yeah, Luis, that was a good game, though, Luis. GG's. Yeah, I want a Shiny Abyss. Shiny Abyss does sound really cool. Howling Abyss. Being prismatic. That sounds cool. Oh, I missed you, too. Survival skills. We got the survival skills. Don't got your back. Hey, hey, Louise, getting a sub from Boot. We're joining the stream for us just playing when against you. Catch. GG's. Thank you, Boo. Okay, they're just challenging right here. I'm gonna just allow that to happen. I know I have all the like all this mana and everything, but I'm just gonna let that happen. Where you at, Imperion? So now survival skills goes on the Imperion if we need it. I don't really want them to have a Yeti. This is probably a waste. Probably a waste of resources by me. Yep. That was a waste. 
but it was fun. It was something different. I've never done that before. I've never tried to deny somebody playing a Tall Tales. So that was kind of cool. That was first, first for that, you know, first for everything. Trust me, they add up. This is gonna hurt for you. How bothersome. Come back later. Judgment? Kill them all? Come on, don't frostbite. Let it happen. Come on, let it happen. No single combat. Why did I use that survival skills? That would have been so cool. Draven out. I know that. Yeah, so that we're gonna lose this game because I tried to stop that Tall Tales. That's why we lost this game. If I just if I just let that Tall Tales happen, we win this game. And we just lost because of that. Prepare the cargo. So that's too bad. What have I told you? Stay out of there. Could have won this game if I would have uh, just not done anything when they cast that Tall Tales. I think we would have won this. Why do you want me to attack? Just give them more room to play more things? More Poros? Kill that. We'll kill this. And we will buff up this. And if, if they have any kind of spells, we probably die. But if they don't, this can work. That was a very good concerted strike draw. A spell. Two, two spinning axe doesn't save us. All right, so I, I tried having some fun there that last game with uh, stopping that tall tales. That was just really unnecessary using the survival skills when I did, and it cost me that game, but. You know, end of the stream, <laughs> 20th game. Sometimes you just do some some things, you know, it's meme to your day, just do some things for some fun. And uh, it came back to, co to cost us. But good lesson learned um, there not to do that and just let them have it. Because it, it was a really unnecessary play by me. So our deck was all right. I think that I was um, impressed by survival skills overall, especially whenever we had Draven. There was one game where we had triple survival skills with no Draven. And obviously we lost that game because we just could never cast survival skills and, and we got ran over. But besides that, with our games with Draven, it did look pretty good. Arena was hit or miss. The hit was like the one time that we had survival skills with Arena. That was really good. But then the rest of the game, we didn't have survival skills with Arena. And the Arena just cost us the whole rest of the game of just being in play and making us fight smaller things into bigger things and just killing all our own things. Because it's unfortunate with Arena how it's not a choice. So that's that's one thing that really it really makes Arena difficult because it's not a choice. You have to do it. So if you play it, then you're just going to have to have things fight the whole rest of the game. And so if that's going to be a downside for you, then too bad. Um, but it's fun to play. Fun to play. 
All right, so that's the Grand Arena. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.